Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. In a previous video, we taught how to make an end splice, which I think turned out pretty nice. Today, we're going to teach you how to make an eye splice, which is very handy. Here we go. So I'll just take my knife. We'll cut this rope that we used before to teach. There we go. And we'll just use that same rope. So the first thing that we're going to do is just to undo these three strands. And you'll notice that each of the three strands also are created by similar strands. So we're going to tape these ends just to keep them from fraying. Just using a little bit of electrical tape here. Go to the next one. And that will just keep our working ends together, make it a little bit easier. Now we're going to decide how far down the rope we want the eye to be. So we're going to use, we're going to leave about 10 inches maybe of rope they're going to work with. Make the eye. And so we're gonna start about here. So that's where I'll put a little piece of tape. We've got our mark down here that shows how big our loop's going to be. We're going to unfray our rope. So we've got three strands. And that's about how big the loop's going to be. So as you get your three strands undone, just shake them a little bit. And you'll see that naturally you can see one of the strands will lay on top and two create a valley. So they're kind of side by side with one on top. We're gonna to take these two that look like they're side by side and lay those right there, hold them in place, and we're ready to go. And then from the trailing end of our rope, we're gonna open up a strand, put the middle one in, Give it a little pull, and I like to give it a, a twist to keep these strands nice and tight. And we'll rotate it a little bit. This one is going to come around. You can see this one that's coming up next. So we'll open that up. Let's put this one up through. Give it a little twist. Now we'll go to the other side. So following this, rope up, you can see that we've got one going down through this strand. This is our target. So we'll go open that up underneath, pull it up through, give it a twist. And now the most difficult part of the weave is done. So now we can just go over and under, going around first, second, third, and follow that down and it'll end up as the same weave as we've done with our end splice. So let's work on this line coming up. You can see that this is the next one we want to do. We want to go over and under. So we're gonna open that up, over this one, under that one. Rotate. This one's next up, so we're going to go over this one, under that one. You can start seeing a pattern that it's easy to follow. Once you get the first three in, it's pretty easy. Rotate again over this one. Now it becomes tricky. Don't be confused with this other rope that you've already put in. Follow your main line up, and you can see that this one, this one we've got to go under to come back out. There we go. Give it a twist, make sure everything is tight. And now we'll advance to the next one. So it doesn't matter which one you start with as long as you're alternating. So of course we're going to go over this one, under this one. A little bit of a twist. Rotate it over and under.
rotate it. I'm going to go over and under. Put my little fat finger in there to keep it separated. Okay, and I like to give them a little twist to keep them tight. And a lot of the strength of the rope is twisting one way and wrapping the other way. And so we continue that weave all the way down. Just continue moving down. Looks like I've added a lot of rope I can continue down, which will just make this eye splice a little tougher. Or once you get three or four weaves down, you can just opt to cut off the ends here. But we're going to finish it out. A few more weaves and we'll be done. We'll just pick up the pace here. You can see how easy this becomes as you're working it. And pretty soon you'll just recognize which one you need to do. A few more of those and we will have it done. And we're going to put it over and under this one. And I think we're going to call it good there. This one looks like it's a little shorter than the other one. So I'm going to just trim those off with my knife. We're going to give it a rub, which helps to seat those down in there nice and tight. There you have it. An easily done and very handy ice splice. With a little bit of practice, you too can do this easily. We hope that you'll try it. And we hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV.